During pen testing and bug bounty hunting, we often need to identify vulnerabilities in web applications. This is commonly done by fuzzing the input in the web application. While we can do this manually, one powerful tool to help us with this task is WFuzz. In this video, we will go over what WFuzz is, how we use WFuzz to find web content and find potentially vulnerable parameters. WFuzz is a web application fuzzing tool designed to help us discover hidden resources and vulnerabilities by fuzzing parameters and endpoints. Fuzzing is the act of putting in semi-random data in the hope that the web application responds in an unexpected manner. We have set up a web application in our cyber range that we want to test for hidden directories and vulnerable parameters. We will use WFuzz on our Kali machine to fuzz the target URL and see if we can uncover any hidden resources or vulnerabilities. Before we proceed, you might need to install WFuzz. On Kali Linux, WFuzz is usually pre-installed. For other distribution, it can be installed using the apt with the command apt install wfuzz. Before we get started with wfuzz, we must insist that this tool is only used on environments that you are the owner of. This means you can't use it on any public websites. If you want to learn more about how to behave in an ethical manner, Pause the video and click on the card in the top right to watch the Ethics in Cybersecurity video we have made. In the first example, we are going to use WFAS to find directories. The basic syntax to do this is straightforward. We specify the target URL and the word list to use for fuzzing. Word lists contain a list of common file names, directories or parameters to test against the target in our virtual environment. We will use one of the default installed word lists that are in Kali Linux. To fuzz the URL for hidden directories, we can use the command that we just typed. In this command, the C flag tells WFuzz to output in color. The W flag specifies the word list that we want to use. The HC404 flag tells WFuzz to hide responses with a 404 status code. Using the U flag, we can set the URL to fuzz. We select an internal IP in our cyber range. Inside the URL we supply, we have put the word fuzz. The word fuzz is a placeholder in the URL where wfuzz will insert each word from the word list we have selected. Once we execute the command, wfuzz will start fuzzing the target URL. The results will display each request made and the corresponding HTTP status code, its length and other relevant information. If you have any further questions or comments about what you've seen so far in this video, leave a comment and we will try to answer your question. Let's break down the output that WFuzz gives us. The first column shows the ID number of the request. The second column displays the HTTP status code of the response. The third column shows the length of the response the fourth column indicates the number of words in the response and the last column displays the payload used for the request. By analyzing the status codes and its response length, we can identify which requests have returned meaningful results. WFuzz can also be used to test for vulnerable parameters. For example, to fuzz a parameter in a GET request, the flags that we use are exactly the same as the previous example, but we supply a different type of word list. This command will test the parameter for various values specified in the supplied word list. The output is similar to when we were using wfuzz to find directories and files. 
This time however, we are looking more to the columns where the length and the word counts are shown. This indicates that the results are different and are worth further manual investigation. We have shown you how to use WFAS and how to interpret the results to uncover hidden directories and vulnerable parameters. While there are many more advanced features in WFAS, this video covers the basics to get you started. We hope you learned something useful. If you did, please subscribe, like and leave a comment if you have any questions. Thank you for watching and hack ethically.